Oh shit, uh, 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 here we go, uh, oh shit, yeah, you better, you better dip in low, uh, oh shit, uh, yo, uh, ow, I'm on the dance floor, I don't give a fuck, I'ma take that dick and take it out my butt, I got a juicy ass and a big ass cock, I know this weight, I just won't stop, I'm not covering, but I get super head, I'ma choke on that dick until I'm dead, I'm a nasty hoe, I'm a freak bitch, come on people, y'all watching that addiction shit, ow, Yes, zip it, zip it low. Cause we don't really want to miss you here, man. No. This is DJ E. Sadiq. No. This station is Snaps Your Crush Your Fans. No, we're not going to play this. No. No, we ain't going to listen to this. Turn this off. Turn this off. Turn this off, bitch. Cause you gave me all your pussy And when you lick my balls No, turn this off, turn this off Turn that off, honey Turn it off I don't want to hear that song Sister Patterson, would you turn this song off? I don't want to hear it. Can one of you all turn this song off? Cause I met a girl. Bitch, I don't want to hear this song, honey. In the whole wide world. Turn this off. Well, if corrupt gave a fuck about a bitch, I'd always be broke. I never have no motherfucking No, nope, nope, okay, I'm going to turn it off. Rest in peace to the Nate Dog. I only played it because of Nate Dog. That's the only reason why I played that song, you all, because of the Nate, the Nate. Shout out to the Nate Dog. <sighs> hey, my bimmies. Hey, my blood clot bimmies, Wonka, Wonka, and the blood clot. You want to rumble with the B, huh? Psst. Throw a hex on your whole family. Thank you for letting me know what the blood clot means. Sister Patterson, they let, they, you all let me know what the blood clot means, honey. Because I didn't know what the fuck it mean. I just thought it was something you Jamaicans say with the blood clot. Anyway, bitches, Bimbo Winehouse. Um... And Sister Patterson, and welcome to the Bimbo Winehouse Addiction Show. Walker Walker M. Um, with the blood clot. You want to rumble with the B, huh? Psst. I don't give a fuck. Listen to me. Make sure if you are new to this channel, and you, you know you liking this mess, honey. Because I ain't like the rest. I ain't like the rest. The mother YouTubers, they all do the same shit. When you come to this motherfucking sh channel, this motherfucking show, bitch, is different up over this motherfucker. Okay? Fuck a copyright, bitch. Fuck the copyright. Fuck the revenue bullshit. Anyway, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Subscribe. Yeah. Also, you need to uh, click the thumbs up. Is that, what the, is that what the YouTubers say? Make sure you click the thumbs up on this show. Um, and also share this show on your social media accounts. I don't care what social media accounts you share this show on. Just share it, bitch. <sighs> Listen. I just want to get into the show. My birthday shenanigans are over. Um, uh, it's like everything goes so quick. 
when you are having fun, the time goes so fast. It just goes. It just moves. Whoop. It's like so quick, so over. I mean, like, damn, slow the fuck down. Like, can you just relax for a second? I'm having a good time. It just like, it's 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. The time just goes whoops. When you are bored, ain't shit to do, you just looking at the clock. The clock goes 4 o'clock. 5 o'clock. But when you having a good time, bitch, it's 4 or 5. Like, relax time. Can you, can you slow the fuck down? I mean, damn, bitch. I was having a good motherfucking time this this past week. My birthday week was off the motherfucking chain. Now I was back to this shit. Anyway. You all. It's like so much happened in just like one week. And like a time span of like five days. So much shit done happened. It's like these celebrities was like, yo. I gotta get top story. I gotta get top story. No, bitch, I'm getting top story. I like they. It was just like story after story after story after story. It's just like, damn, relax, calm down. We ain't gonna forget about you. It's just like stories was coming from everywhere. I mean, relax, relax, bitch. Anyway, you all. It was just like everyone. This chick is trying to commit suicide. This motherfucker talking about he want to be president. Um, um, this she got shot in the foot. It, uh, I mean, this bitch is setting her motherfucking boyfriend car on fire. I'm like, I mean, goddamn. Anyway, you all, I got an opinion, just my little simple opinion on all the bullshit that's going on. So it's time for the motherfucking topics. That's hot. Topic that's hot. Ow. Ow. Topic that's hot. Shout out to uh, Funky Don Eva. I saw him with that, um, what's the lady name? Hold on, let me go on Funky Don Eva page real quick. He talked about he got his teeth fixed. Oh, well, bitch, it's all right. It's all good, bitch. I'm still missing a couple of teeth. It's all right. If you missing teeth out there, bitch, it's all good, bitch. As long as you can eat and you can talk. That's all you need your mouth for. And you can suck a mean dick, bitch, or eat some coochie. That's all the four things you need your mouth for. is to eat, talk, eat a pussy, suck a dick. As long as you can do that, you fine. Who's Dr. Heavily? Whoever, hey, Funky Don, even talk about he got his teeth fixed, bitch. I don't give a fuck. I'm missing teeth on this side. And a motherfucking teeth on this side. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. Fuck these teeth, bitch. I can still eat me a mean piece of steak. I had me a motherfucking piece of steak the other day. Okay, Darneva, I love you, but bitch, you need to fix the motherfucking feet. That's what you need to fix, bitch. Okay, if I had the choice to fix the feet or the teeth, it's gonna be the feet. Fuck these teeth, bitch. Work on the motherfucking toes. I'm playing with you, fucking Darneva. I love you. Shout out to all the Leos. It's Leo season. Darneva's a Leo. You know how the Leos are. I'm joking, Darneva. I love funky Darneva. Anyway, you all, we got some things to talk about. It's time for the topics that's hot. Um, first off, I just want to say, what a week. What a fucking week it has been. Um, this was truly one of the, uh, best birthdays I ever had you know you know even with uh, everything that's going on with the uh, you know with the disease with, with every the fuck thing that's going on right now I just have to say um, this was truly one of the best birthdays I ever had man and um, it was simple just the way I like it I was alone alone 
And shout out to my friend on Instagram. Yes, bitch, I was in a rented car. I don't like to drive, you know. I was stressing to get my license just to find out, bitch, I'm a walker. I, I, I hate driving. I mean, if I have to do it, I will do it, but I just learned people don't know how to drive. People annoy. I, I notice when I get on that road, I'm fucking annoyed. Bitch, you could have made that red light. Now I gotta wait because your fucking ass don't know how to fucking speed up and get that red light, bitch. And I just get annoyed with drivers. So I learned when I need to drive, I can drive, bitch. Other than that, I will walk or take the motherfucking bus. There's no shame in my fucking game, bitch. If I want to get a car, I can get it. But I, I, I cannot stand drivers. Especially these Ohio drivers. Um, but anyway, I rented a car. Um, I also stayed in a hotel. Oh, excuse me, a motel. This is different, you all. Hotel and a motel, bitch. Um, I stayed in a mo my little cheap motel I like to stay in. Um, I don't like motels that you gotta walk through a building my type of motel is the ones where each room is outside is outside so when you walk out when you walk outside your door you are literally outside those are my type of motels i like to go to where you just walk outside bitch you ain't gotta go to nobody's hallway people looking at you wondering why people keep going in and out your room bitch no is this is a certain motel i go out here they love me over there bitch I love them and I went there and that's exactly how I wanted to spend my birthday. Um, I was actually going to drive to New York. I was going to drive to New York, but I said, bitch, if I drive to New York, <laughs> I'm not coming back to Ohio. So I said my best bet is just to keep it safe and just stay local and just have a good time, you know. Um, but like I said, it's exactly what I wanted. But I have to give it up. I truly have to give it up to all my Bimmies out there. Shout out to all my Bimmies. That's what I'm calling you all my Bimmies. Bimmies. I just... I, I Baby, you all... You all showed out. You, you all showed out with them birthdays, donations, them birthday gifts. You know, and I was over here last week stressing about how you order and make no birthday videos. Bitch, fuck them birthday videos, bitch. You all showed your love through them donations. And every second I would look at my phone, I had a cash app. I had a PayPal. I was just like, yo. I'm... I, you know... I, because we all ain't sending money to folks to any to any and everybody bitch you you ain't getting a motherfucker down bitch so for you all to show me that so much love and i tell you all that's the best gift you can give a motherfucker stop going out trying to stress what am i going to get this person for their birthday what am i going to do the best two gifts you can give a motherfucker is is is, is money or pay a motherfucking bill Stop going out stressing out. Oh my God, when I'm going to get this person for their birthday? You all, you all know. The, I tell you all all the time. The best gifts you can give someone are money or pay a motherfucking bill. With that money, that person will go out and get what the fuck they need. They know what they need. You don't know what a person needs. You out here stressing about what the fuck are you? Fuck trying to get gifts. But I just want to thank all of my bimmies out there who sent me something. You all, you all know I go through shit. I be stressing out. I be in my moods, my depressed, and I just feel like I have no one to talk to. And I come to this camera. I've been doing this shit for like nine, ten years, and I just feel like this, you know. And we are a family, man. And sometimes blood don't always make you family, bitch. I just want to thank all my motherfucking supporters who just even the ones who didn't give donations those who still rock out with me you all don't know what that shit means to me man you know a person who like me who just feel like you know cause cause, cause it. also I usually I usually post on my Instagram my Facebook what you guys give me, you know, because bitch, show it off. You bitch, you donated, bitch. You want to be, you know, some of you, you know, but the times that we are living in now, 
the world that we are living in now, this is not the time to be posting nothing about nothing. This is not the time to be bragging, posting, flashing. This is not the time. I don't understand how these fucking drug dealers or these scammers, they go to their motherfucking Facebooks and their, and, and their Instagrams and they, they just showing off all this money like... The fuck are you doing? This is not the time to do all that shit. I mean, I didn't get that much money, but you all, I this this is not the time. The world we all in, people who don't have jobs, unemployment is crazy. The fact that you all, in the times that that you all pulled went into your pockets and gave to me for my birthday, man, I cried so much like a fucking baby, man. I I truly thank my fucking supporters. And you don't, just as much as you love watching this mess here, you all don't know how much it means to me that you watch me and support me. And I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you know, I, I, I truly just want to say thank you. You know, like again, I was not sitting up here posting what you guys sent me. It started from a dollar. Someone sent me a dollar, but bitch, it was the thought that count. Someone sent me a hundred and eighty dollars. I, I, and everything in between that. So again, thank you to my bimmies. I love you guys. Um, thank you. And again, this is not the time to be on Instagram and on your Facebook bragging, okay? Some of you on some of these other personalities on there bragging about their BMW cars. This is not the time, sis, to do that. No, it's really not, okay? There's folks out here who don't even have two dollars to take them a fucking take the bus, and you on here bragging about your BMW. Bitch, how many dicks did you have to suck to get that car, bitch? I cannot stand them fucking bragging Libras. Relax. It's not that serious. Okay, you got a BMW. Hoo hoo. It's a car, bitch. Yes, I'm throwing. I, I, all right, listen. But I, I I do want to shout out a few folks who, um, bitch, I'm going to shout out a few of you all. Because you all, you, every year, um, just a couple of you all who sent me something. Um... This is going to be real quick because I know you all want to get to the show, bitch. We got some things to talk about, honey. Get crazy. Go crazy. Shout out to Tammy and Shauna. Tammy and Shauna. You two every year. Every year. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy and Shauna. I love you two. You two are st they're sisters, you all. And um, they know me for my old job and that I've missed. I'm going to start crying. <sighs> The casino in uh, New York, which I hope they take me back, bitch, because I want I'm so ready to go back to New York. But everything is closed. But Tammy and Shauna, I love you two so much, man. Every year you all, you, oh my God, thank you so much, Tammy and Shauna. You know who you two are. <sighs> thank you, my sisters. Um, also, shout out to TB. I, also shout out but you all know I got a fourth grade education so if I'm not if you one two three four if I'm not shouting your name out right bitch oh blame it on one two three four shout out to uh Beaumont I didn't write how much you sent me but shout out to Beaumont shout out to uh Chandra um also shout out to uh Katina Katina you sent me sixty dollars you sent me sixty five dollars girl you was like shout out to you uh skinny bitch thank you baby you know i gained about a couple of pounds bitch i was eating all type of chicken wings and macaroni and cheese bitch i was eating i ain't give a fuck about nothing but next week bitch i'm going back on my uh my uh salad diet but yeah baby thank you uh katina also shout out to three six three sixty spindo um thank you for your donation your your, your birthday gift also, uh, shout out to uh, Vajee, Vajee, Vajay, Vagina, girl, whatever your name is, uh, thank you on Instagram, Vajee, Vagina, hey, Vagina. Also, shout out to uh, Sippin' and Trippin' Podcast, thank you for your donation. I'm, why am I saying donation? These are birthday gifts, I'm sorry, you all, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, birthday gift. Shout out to uh, Tay Davis. 
Tay Davis, I love you, baby. And congrats on your newborn. He's a cancer like me, baby. He's going to love his mommy, honey. You're going to have your old sensitive baby, honey. Okay, handle that baby with care, Tay Davis. You're going you to have your sensitive baby. So, uh, congrats on your new uh, bundle of joy, Tay. Tay, been a long time. Tay, I love you so much, baby. You've been a long time supporter. Also, shout out to my baby, Jessica, for your donation. Lex. Lex says she forgot her birthday video. So, she sent me $20 for my birthday. Lex, fuck that birthday video, bitch. Thank you for the $20, baby girl. Um, also, shout out to Blair. Shout out to Moon. Um, shout out to my baby Whitney. Whitney, I love you. I love you. I love you. She subscribed to my OnlyFans. Whitney, I love you so much, baby. I love you. I love you. I got new OnlyFans videos coming up. Also, shout out to um, on PayPal. These are the uh, some of the folks that sent me something on PayPal. Thank you, Tiana, for your fifty dollars, baby. Love you, baby. Uh, Sa Salama, you know, but you don't want two, three, four. Thank you. You always show birthday love, Salama. Thank you so much for your thirty-five dollars, baby, for my birthday. And shout out to shout out to my boo, Sydney. Sydney, I got your message. How you doing, <laughs> Sydney? I got your message, and Sydney, I already knew, boo. I already knew when we met each other in my burden, boy. I knew what I knew what it was. Sydney, Sydney, I love you. Shout out to your mother. I love you and your mom, Sydney, man. Thank you so much. Um Again, I wanna shout out to everyone. And bitch, if you still wanna send me bitches, cancer, fuck you, Leo's. I know it's Leo season, bitch. Fuck y'all. It's the cancers, bitch. If you still wanna Show me some birthday love. My cash app is Bimbo Love. And my PayPal is Bimbo Winehouse. You guys don't know how much that means to me. Like, it's just not the money. It's just... You all don't know the shit I go through in my head. Being gay. Being black. Being... And it, sometimes I just feel like nobody fucking loves me. And, and it's just not the money. It's just the fact that you all support me. So again, little things like this keep me from... Pulling them up, fucking Tamar Braxton. So I love you all. You know, yeah, we're gonna talk about Tamar in a second, bitch. But again, I want to say thank you to everyone who showed me birthday love. You know, the messages on Facebook. You know, it, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And hopefully, I'll be here another year with the, the way this world's going. And hopefully, I'll be here to 36. A bitch is getting old, but bitch, I don't look no more fucking 36, bitch. I'm seeing some of these little faggots in their 20s. Bitch, you look about 40. They need to leave the motherfucking drugs alone, bitch. Yes, I drink. That's all the motherfucking shit I do, bitch. I don't sniff no coke. I don't smoke none of that motherfucking shit. You little dirty, nasty faggots. Now, listen to me, bitch. We got some things to talk about. We got some things to talk about, honey. So, listen. Um, what are we talking about? Oh, I forgot. Let me get, let me get my notes together, you all. I have to look at myself when I talk. Okay, I, I gotta make sure I'm looking right, honey. You know, I ain't, I ain't lose these pounds to be looking like no pig like I used to look, bitch. Okay, I lost these pounds to look, you know, look. Oh, what is this bitch doing here? You know, you know, ew. All right, hold on. You know this lady gonna tell me, these Ohio people, they mind your business so much. Like, this is why I can't... Get, I can't wait to get back to New York. New Yorkers, we don't give a fuck how you look, how you dress, how you act. Bitch, we don't pay you no motherfucking mind. This lady on high oh, you got a piece of your, um, you got a piece of your hair sticking out. Bitch, mind your business. Okay, this is the way I'm a bitch. I like my hair messy. I, I'm a messy person, bitch. Mind your business. Okay, just do what you gotta do and leave me the fuck alone. I came here to pay you for my food. Now, Okay, worry about that. Okay, bitch, I look good, bitch. You mean looking at me? Listen, what are we talking about? Oh, you all. I'm all, I'm going to tell you all about my um my uh little messy birthday week. Yes, baby. I told you I was turning 35. I wanted to suck me 35 dicks. Okay, I didn't suck 35 dicks. I sucked about. 15 Bitch out oh, the bitch don't judge me bitch the way this world is going bitch you could be dead tomorrow you better enjoy 
You better just stop waiting till you get married, but you're never going to get married, sis. That man is never going to marry. You give up the pussy, but suck a dick, do something, okay? Listen to me. I told you all I wanted to watch Coming to America. I wanted to watch it on my birthday night or my birthday week, but it never happened. I got drunk, and I heat and liquor don't mix. Heat and liquor don't mix. So I got drunk. I was tired. I fell asleep. So I never got to watch Coming to America, but I actually wanted to watch it this week so I can tell you all my review. I never got to watch it, baby. I never got to watch it, baby. Bimmies, my bimmies. Something else had my attention the night I wanted to watch The Coming to America. Something else had got my attention, okay? And I'm going to eat my words because I said, Sister Patterson, I said I did not care for nobody versus. I did not care about them little Instagram battles. With uh, uh, 112 versus Jagged Edge and Fabulous versus Jada Kiss and uh, uh, Babyface versus uh, Teddy. I didn't give a fuck about none. I said it's a waste of time, bitch. I just have to say. I have to say and I'm going to eat my words. Whoever decided to put them two dogs in that studio. Put them two dogs in that ring. Baby, you deserve a raise. I don't know who thought to put DMX and Snoop Dogg. Baby, listen to me. I said I was going to watch Coming to America, but I was looking on Facebook and Instagram, and everyone was talking about this DMX and Snoop Dogg. And I said, you know what? I'm sick of being out the loop of everything that's going on. So let me just watch these motherfuckers for you know. I was going to watch for about five minutes, you know. Then I was going to watch Coming to America, baby. I stayed there for the two hours or however long. I stayed there for the two full hours. First, I just have to say, shout out to DMX. DMX reminded me of Martin and Bad Boys 3. You know, Martin was sexy, you know, in the 90s, or Martin, you know. Uh, what's the movie with him and that crazy bitch? Oh, shit. I watch this movie all the time, now I can't think of it. Uh, 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 a thin line between love and hate. Martin was sexy. Bobby Brown was sexy. They was all. It's something as you get older, you get that 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 they get that belly. You know that big up. You know so DMX was giving me that Martin. You know that I'm like damn DMX. What the fuck happened to you? I know you left the drop and stuff alone. My God, damn nigga. Anyway, I just have to say, and yes, they did look like the number ten. Snoop Dogg looked like the number one and uh, DMX looked like the number zero. Okay, they was just like zero one because it was on like the other size. I just have to say they both were fucking entertaining. It was not like the motherfucking Teddy Riley and uh, 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 Babyface. They both sitting at the computer. Hey, how you doing? I'm fine. Okay, I'm about to play this next song. The fuck? I'm supposed to sit here for two hours for this bullshit? These motherfucker has their microphones. They was engaging. Let me tell you something. If you did not watch that DMX and Snoop Dogg motherfucking uh, versus, bitch, you are missing something. It was not like that 112 and Jagged Edge bullshit. The motherfuckers up there drunk and high. They know what the fuck's on. They was playing next. Fuck the motherfuckers. That DMX and that man. When I tell you, they were the perfect combination. I, 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 <laughs> I was so entertained the whole two hours. The music alone. And when DMX played that motherfucking slipping, it sent chills through my fucking body. When he played that motherfucking slipping. And you know what? It's not about 
who got better songs. It was just a good time for us 80s and 90 babies to reminisce on some good fucking music. You know what I mean? Not this bullshit that's out with these little fucking retarded generations. I can't stand these little dumb motherfuckers. They just dumb. This bullshit music. I was really standing at the bus stop and this guy was blasting music out his car and the guy was rapping but he was talking. Yeah, I met my girl on the block. She, what the fuck are you talking about? But anyway, back to the DMX and, 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 and Snoop Dogg. Baby, again, if you did not catch this motherfucking... And it's nothing like catching it live. So if you ain't catch it, but you missed out on something. Because if you if, if you got to watch the you know recorded version, it's, it's not the same, bitch. It was live DMX. What I loved about DMX, DMX is funny without trying to be funny. He's just naturally funny. And Snoop Dogg, just him dancing alone. Yo, this shit. I, I, I stayed there for the two hours. I couldn't believe that's how it bitch me. My fucking attention span is like 20 minutes. The only thing that can keep my attention is Lifetime movies and Family Feud, bitch. Anyway, what are we talking about? Oh, and bitch. Nobody wants to see nobody Keisha Cole and Ashanti. Nobody wants to see you two hoes, okay? You you two old uh, uh, miserable, angry hoes. You like like the the reason why this DMX and, and Snoop Dogg shit was so entertaining because they was engaging. They was like entertaining. These two bitches gonna be sitting there miserable with attitudes. Oh, I gotta play my song now. No, 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 no. I do not want to see nobody's Keisha Cole and nobody's Ashanti, okay? You both got attitudes. You both got attitude fucking problems, oh, bitch. If you two bitches going to do this motherfucking verses, leave them attitudes homes at home. You need to come there. You need to be motherfucking entertaining. But I think these two like each other, so it might work. And another thing is, with these verses, you got to have at least two motherfucking hours of hits. You got to have at least two and a half hours. I could see Keisha Cole doing her, her main attitude. Keisha Cole, if you are going to do this, can you please have some personality? Can you please bring Frankie with you? Or bring your sister, Nephi, some type of entertainment. I don't need you be sitting there just playing your songs with attitude. Uh, next song I'm about to play is uh, I Remember. No, we don't want that, bitch. You two bitches got to understand. With Snoop Dogg and DMX, you... It's hard to come after that. It's hard. No motherfuckers was entertaining you hoes, okay? So again, I'm learning with uh this this this, this versus bullshit. You gotta have at least two hours of hits. Again, Keisha Cole, I can see her going two hours of hits. I don't know about Ashanti, you all. I don't know. At first, I didn't want this battle to happen because I was like, these two are not going to be entertaining, but these two get along, they like each other. So maybe, you know, they could come with that fiction. Hey girl, hey girl, okay, bring that. But can you two bitches be a little more entertaining, okay? Because Snoop Dogg and, and DMX, they set that bar high. So when you motherfuckers come with this versus bullshit, you better come with it. You better come with it. Cause I, and then I was thinking, okay, Ashanti got a few hits. I was listening to her first and second. I said, okay, but you, t I was thinking maybe you all could bring K Michelle, make it like a triple threat. You know how in the uh, wrestling they have three wrestlers battle. Can you bring in K Michelle? Cause you all gonna need some type of more entertainment than just uh, Keisha, Keisha Cole and Ashanti. I mean, or maybe bring in Faith Evans, someone else. Cause you two bitches alone ain't gonna do it for me. I'ma need a, another person to come into this battle, honey. Cause I get guarantee you when Keisha Cole and Ashanti battle, they they just gonna be sitting there. I need someone who's going to come in and keep me entertained for the two hours. And I'm thinking, K okay, Michelle. Anyway, who you all, uh, who you all feel is going to win? And between uh, K Michelle, I mean between Keisha Cole and uh, Mashanti, I'm going with Ke Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole, Keisha Cole, my girl. I love Keisha. 
But Keisha ain't got no personality. I'm sorry, you all. She ain't got no personality. She's just like, relax. Relax. And by the way, Keisha, baby, they talking, honey. They talking. I mean, I'm just here to report the motherfucking news, Keisha. But they talking. They talking about you, you and your boo, Nico. Calais, is that how you say his down his la his last name Calais? They said you and your little boo uh has broken up. This is what they saying, Keisha. Fans came to the conclusion that Keisha Cole may have broken up with her, her, her boo Nico because Keisha posted a, a photo on Instagram and it read Ever get so comfortable ever get so comfortable in pain that you forget what happiness is it's still an option it's a word she said shout out to everyone who's trying to heal from the expo uh, unspoken uh, day haze were epic she deleted all the photos of her and her boo as for her boo Nico her baby this ain't her boo this is her baby father why do you all bring your kids into these situations okay you know you don't love that man okay he's just some good dick once in a while why are you gonna let that man bust up at you now nine months that you wouldn't have this man baby you know you don't give a fuck about this motherfucker anyway Nico has removed all the photos of Keisha from his Instagram um word has it the two may be doing some spring cleaning uh, the relationship uh, may be over. Uh, they welcomed their son into the world in August 2019. And I don't care. I just don't understand why Keisha Cole can't keep a man. I'm sorry to say Keisha. I think she's a lesbian. Yes, you are. I think Keisha Cole's a lesbian. She gives me a lesbian vibe. I think Keisha Cole, you need to go find you a woman. A woman. That's just my motherfucking opinion, bitch. How am I looking on camera? Oh, my nipples. Why are you talking about my nipples for showing, Sister Pat? Oh, wait a minute. Let me, let me get the outfit together, honey. Bam. Um, yeah, I think Keisha Cole's a lesbian. I think Keisha Cole needs to go find her a woman. Okay, and I think you're going to be the butch. I don't think you is like the, the lipstick lesbian. I think she's the one who want to put the, you know, the strap on and, and you know. Shout out to all you lesbians out there. But I don't think Keisha Cole should find her a man. Because she just can't keep a man. What's going on, girl? Alright, listen to me. What are we talking about next? <clears throat> and uh, speaking of the short men. Baby, what's going on with this whole Tory Lanez? You all know Tory Lanez is only five feet. One, two, three, four, five five feet bitch could you fuck a man five feet <clears throat> this just goes to show that money can change the whole situation would you find Tory Lanez attractive if you ain't find that he was worth millions no bitch the millions give him a little height well listen the Tory Lanez and the Megan the Stallion situation is getting crazier and crazier by the day according to a new report by the popular podcaster Adam 22 baby they saying that uh the midget Tory Lanez he shot um the uh the doofy big old tall Megan the stallion as in self defense baby that's what they saying honey they saying the midget shot this big bitch and sub bitch you know I'm only five feet you think I'm gonna fight your big ass bitch Oh no, but you're going you're gonna to get these shots. This is what they say you all. According to Adam, Tori may uh, have sh uh, shot Megan big ass in self-defense to avoid going to prison for attempted murder. Adam explained on his um, podcast what happened the night of the shooting. This is what they're saying you all. I'm just here to deliver the motherfucking message. He claims he spoke with both Tori and Megan's friends and they all confirmed what happened. Megan and Tori attended a party together and at one point in the evening uh, they were hanging out with Kylie Jenner. There's always some Kardashians. 
Adam claims that Megan became drunk at the party and she was jealous when she saw Kylie Jenner over there with the midget. <laughs> with uh, Tori, who she was dating at the time. Megan then, according to Adam, she became the Aquarius that she is. She became violent. Oh yeah, the Aquarius women are very violent. I know. And she attacked the midget. She attacked Tori. Adam claimed that Megan was beating Tori so bad. He suggested that Tori may have pulled out a gun to protect himself. Yeah, he shot her bitch. Shot her in the toes. Um, so what does Tori have to prove to get off using self-defense? Well, media takeout uh, learned that the California laws allows the use of force in self-defense or defense of others when uh, they believe that you are in danger or physical harm and you need to fucking uh, protect yourself. They feel like if Tori felt that Megan was trying to hurt him, which she probably was, he can say, I justified it by showing his big bitch in her toes. I'm only motherfucking five feet, bitch. The alleged shoot-in incident between rappers Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion has both fans and their hip-hop uh, pairs in the uproar. Last week, reports surfaced that Tory Lanez allegedly shot Megan in the foot to pre uh, prevent her from exiting his SUV and when she was arrested for felony possession of a firearm. Footage of the aftermath uh, went viral. Also, basketball wife star Drea joked about the incident that Megan described as fucked up bitch on a podcast the 25 year old responded to the insensitive joke uh oh oh my god okay give me a second I ain't know this is all here okay okay listen to it basically a lot of dudes are joking about this whole situation I'm not understanding why there's so many black dudes on here making fun of this situation She's been shot in her foot. That's really not something to laugh about. You know what I'm noticing? Because uh, you all remember the rapper Cameron. Yeah, he made a joke on his Instagram talking about, you know, the reason why uh, Tori shot Megan is because she pulled that dick out and he was like, what the fuck? Bitch, please. Cameron, Tory, half you motherfucking rappers. If Megan was to pull that motherfucking dick out, your motherfucking head will be bobbing, bitch. You'll put that motherfucking head down and you start to sucking that dick. You motherfuckers make me sick. It's always the fucking down low, closeted motherfuckers that always gotta say some bullshit like this. It, just, it pisses me off. Cameron, bitch, please. You from Harlem. Bitch, you from motherfucking Harlem. Half of them. I done been with so many fucking Harlem down low motherfuckers. Anyway. I just don't get what is all this hate from black men towards black women. I'm thinking a lot of these black dudes like Cameron and whoever the fuck else, they was brought up, they was probably brought up by a shitty mother. A mama who didn't give a fuck about nothing, just a shitty bitch. And their father wasn't shit, they treated their mama like shit. So that's why they treat these black females like shit. This is the only this is the only thing I could think of because children see this shit when they're growing up. They see this bullshit when they grow up. So I'm thinking Cameron was being brought up. He saw his father treat his mom like shit. His mother was a shit to him. So he said, you know what? I'm gonna grow up and treat black women like shit. But I bet you. Camera, you treat your black trannies like queens, right? I can't understand. What the fuck? I understand. Even with 50 cents, but I understand 50 cents because he's a cancer like me. 
50 Cent don't mean no harm. He just try to make folks laugh. You know what I mean? I think 50 Cent don't mean no harm. He just trying to make. I I, I can kind of understand 50 Cent with his Instagram posts. I get it. Okay, a lot of you all. 50 Cent is probably the sweetest. If you was to meet 50 Cent, I guarantee you he'd be the sweetest motherfucker. Okay, you're gonna be like, is this the same motherfucker from the post? No, it's not. Okay, but back to camera. Camera, go suck them dicks. Can't stand camera. Go, go, put your pink, put your pink panties on and go suck them dicks. That's what the fuck you suck them Harlem tranny dicks, bitch. Listen to me. All right, enough about this uh, Megan Stallion, bitch. I don't give a fuck about this. So, to the in the conclusion, what I'm thinking, which I believe is that Megan was probably at this party. They was all drunk, and you know these black men. They like these little light skinned little white girls. And he was over there probably flirting with uh whatever the Kylie, whatever the bitch name is, and brown skin Megan was probably feeling some way. He probably got in that car and it was probably some rah 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 and rah 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 and then pow 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 and then But I tell you this she best to not go back and fuck that motherfucker cause these are the type of niggas you hoes be attracted to. These motherfuckers that beat your ass and 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 and, and shoot you and shit. These are the ones that you claim got the best good dick. No bitch. It's really some good men out here who got some good dick who will treat you the way you want to be treated. He might talk to you a certain way, but bitch he won't hit you or shoot you. You dumb bitch got this shit fucked up. I guarantee you somewhere down the line. She gonna be fucking that motherfucker again. She is going to be back on that dick, riding that little midget dick. Ain't no motherfucking way in hell. Motherfucker shoot me in my toes. You done shot me in my motherfucking toes and you did. I'm gonna be sucking your dick again, nigga. You got the game all fucked up. And he ain't even that attractive. I don't think no one's ugly, but I don't think everyone's attractive. You know what I mean? And I just think it's the money. Because I'm not attracted to a little motherfucking five feet. No. All right. I met me a little. I met me a little short dude this weekend. You know it was my birthday weekend. I met me a little short Spanish dude, um, and I met a couple of dudes this weekend. You all, I told you it was my birthday weekend. I ain't had none. I went on my Instagram. The first dude I had was one of my boos, my boos, and he can't. He drive. I didn't even know he drive. That's that just goes to show he wanted this shit. Cause all the times we met in the past time, I always had to drive to him. The one time I say I don't have a car, and then now you got a car. He drove up to the motel to see me, and it, I'm gonna put that on my OnlyFans, you all. But listen to me. What are we talking about? Oh, so I met me a little old short Spanish dude. He came to the hotel, and um. He was so short. I was so tall. You know, when I I knew he was short because I, I I read his profile. And you know, I like to sit on the bed when they come in, so I don't look so tall. So I sit, you know. So he came in, and um, he just got right. He just took his clothes. I'm like, damn, nigga, just took his clothes off. Damn, poppy, relax. He, I mean, not tall, but he just walked in. And, I, yeah, look, whatever. I, I really want to get straight to it anyway. Ain't shit for us to talk about. So he um. It was so funny, you know. I, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna post that on my Insta, on my OnlyFans. I'm gonna put that on my OnlyFans because I recorded that. But you don't see him; you just hear it. And um, he, you know, it was time for him to put it in. And it just, it, it just felt so weird. Like it was like Big Shirley on cold, little cold ass trying to get up at Big Shirley. Maybe Big Shirley had to look here, cold. I had to, I had to fucking take control, so he finally got it get got it in. This little motherfucking poppy nutted in like 30 seconds. I'm like, damn, poppy. So he pulls a condom out, and I was like, no, leave it right there, just leave it. You know, I wanted to see how much you come once you leave this motherfucker. So he got dressed, he left. I turned that light on you all. This motherfucker had so much come in that motherfucking condom, bitch. I said, damn, poppy was horny, baby. So this motherfucker texts me like 10 minutes after. He's like, um, hey. I'm like, here we go. I'm like, hey, but hey, Bobby. He's like, um, are you clean? 
Why, why do you motherfuckers ask that shit? Aren't, aren't these questions you're supposed to ask before you fuck a motherfucker? Are you clean? I'm like, Poppy. Yes. Are you clean? I mean, we done used the car. I don't want to talk about him. But to you all out there, you motherfucking uh, uh, precautions. These are questions you ask a motherfucker before you have sex. Are you clean and all this? How the fuck you done bust all this nut up in me? And we used the car and now, 10 minutes later, you want to uh, Nigga. Anyway, hey Bobby. But like you all, like I said, I met me a couple of dudes. I also met my um Oh, so wait. There's so many stories I have in my head right now. So I told you all I like to go to this hotel, right? It's usually no action that's going on in this hotel. It's really never no action. So the one time I really wanted to be the hoe and said, fuck it. I, I, I don't feel like took my head is hurting. I don't want to talk about that. Just know it was finally some action. Fuck. I think the dude in one of the um, rooms was like watching like, I don't want to talk about that. I also, all right, I can tell, I'll get back to that in a second. So, um. I bitch, I done told you hoes that Nicki Minaj was um giving birth. Nicki Minaj announced that she's having a baby. Bitch, I told you all that a month ago. I'm just shocked that she's really having a baby by that dude. I I I, I can't believe she's having. I just can't believe she's going to give birth to that. Hey, look. I guess he makes her happy, honey. So Tamar Braxton's boyfriend, David, he gave fans an update on the singer's condition following, you know, her possible overdose. He said on behalf of Tamar Breston, I want to thank her fans and the public for the un ongoing thoughts and prayers. He said in a statement to the blast, Tamar is talented. She's a talented woman, a devoted mama and a loving girlfriend, a dear sister and a special friend to countless people. He said this is an extremely difficult time for Tamar as she uh, navigates professionalism and personal struggles including her battle with depression can I just be real with you all you all know how I feel about Tamar I just feel like Tamar Braxton is like a attention whore you know and when I first when I first saw this story um, I said really here she go um, and this just goes to show you all, it's always the loudest one in the room. It's always the loudest one in the room who's doing the most. That's the one that's, that's going through the most. And as you all know, Tamar Braxton is always the loudest one with the yes, this, yes, child, and all that extra stuff, you know, and... So if you have friends, I don't have many friends, you know, so I can always figure out who the fuck is, you know, when you only have two, three friends, you're going to always, but you know, when you go out with your little girlfriends, the loudest one in the room, who's just the messiest, just extra, always the one who needs the attention, that's your Tamar, that, that's your Tamar, it, it, it's no need f to be that extra for what? But, it's sad, you know, again, I don't know if this is true, I don't, I, I don't know, because, you know, with a person of this caliber who needs attention all the time, like a Tamar, I, I, you know, but if it's true that she really tried to kill herself, and, and you know, um, <clears throat> I'll be honest, I'm not praying for you, okay, but I don't pray for nobody, the only person I pray for is me. My mom and my grandma, you know, 
Sorry, but all this, you know, my prayers. You motherfuckers be lying. These folks do not be in your prayers. Oh, I'm praying for your aunt. Bitch, you don't even pray for your own aunt. Okay, I mean, shout out to you all who keeps me in your prayers, in your real prayers. You know, I, I don't understand these folks who get up on Facebook. Oh, girl, pray for my sister. Pray for my aunt. Pray for my mama. Girl, ain't nobody praying for your people, sonny. Okay? I will never get on nobody's Facebook and say, hey, yeah, I used, I did it one time. Like, like 2014 when I realized this is bullshit. Ain't, these folks just want to be nosy. And you just want to tell them something without trying to tell them. All this, oh, my prayer warriors. Bitch, ain't nobody a prayer warrior, honey. You are your own prayer warrior. I have my own prayers. I don't need no one else to pray for me, bitch. The only person I need to hear, the only person I need to hear God about my prayers, bitch, is for me to God. That's it. I don't need nobody prayer warriors. I mean... Thank you if you want to pray for me, bitch, but, bitch, I'm not praying for you. But anyway, listen, as far as Tamar go, and, and like, you know, you all, you all know I suffer from, like, shit. <laughs> we all suffer from shit, you know? Um, but as I'm getting older, I'm learning I have to do the things that I get the most joy from in life. And that's what I just continue to do. It's two things. You all don't need to know what the fuck I get joy from. Okay. That's between me and the joy I get. Fuck y'all. But. I don't like being around people. As I'm getting. I know. I don't. I, I don't care. I just don't like being around people. I like to just be alone. I like to entertain y'all on camera, you know, if I have to get in front of y'all do a show, I don't mind that. But in my own personal life, I just like to be alone. I also notice I don't like going out during the day. I don't like being out during the daytime. And I notice even in New York, I used to be like that. Anyone who really like a true Bimmy, a real Bimmy who followed me on all my social media accounts, you know, I like to be out at night when it's less people at night less people out at night I just like to be alone I like to be out with my music my drink and I just like to be in my thoughts man and I wish I would have gone to a beach this year like I that would be so perfect for me just to lay on the beach nobody around and just look at the water and just be in my thoughts man so to people like Tamar and folks that's going through something and like I go through shit I fucked up a lot of opportunities in life because of like the like this who I am. But I was younger and I'm a little older now, a little wiser, smarter. You know, if opportunities present themselves to me, I know how to handle shit differently and smarter, you know, but whatever, I don't give a fuck about all that. All I'm saying is the folks who are going through depression and shit like Tamar and then you just have to sit down and figure out in life where were your happier times if you can close your eyes and think yo i was so happy there i was so happy there i was so happy here try to do more of those things and then when you close your eyes and feel like when is your energy low it's so many times where it's like my energy is low and and I know I get my energy when I'm around people. I'm just like Ugh. and then that, that could be anybody, family, friends, whoever the fuck it is. I it's just whatever. I don't like being around people. Unless I'm drunk. You know. <laughs> but me, I just like to be alone. And there's other things I like to do in them things from I be alone when I'm doing them. You know, so I've haven't I haven't thought about suicide in a long time. I've thought about it. It crosses my mind, but like to really try to go through it, you know. I just try to surround myself around things that keep my energy high, you know. And when I have to do something that I'm really not like happy about doing. I just got to keep reminding myself, it will be over, it will be over in like 10 minutes, it will be over, so that's just what it is, but shout out to Tamar Braxton, um, 
low bitch. If your energy is low bitch, watch me, bitch. <laughs> Earl, listen. Bitch, my energy is getting low now. <laughs> Let me find me a story that's gonna bring my energy back up. Um. Oh man, oh man, I need a story. Mm, give me a second. Oh man, I need a story that's gonna bring my energy back up. All right. Did you all see how crazy bitch? Where's the story at? Oh man, I thought I had the story you well, I'm sorry. It was um Alright, let me talk about Wendy Williams real quick before I find a story. Um so I wanna talk about that crazy bitch who fucking blew up her man car. Oh my god, my energy is so low right now. Give me a second, you I'm trying to bring my energy back up. Let me just take a break and then all right, you all want to see my break, but just give me a second. Before I go, I just want to ask females out there, would you be okay with your man doing the OnlyFans? Because I know they say, like, the OnlyFans is, like, for females and gay men. Would you be okay with your man doing the OnlyFans? Would you could... Is that fine with you? Um, this guy, he's from, um, I don't know the show name, but he just put up his OnlyFans, Ryan Henry. I don't know. He's from VH1 show. Did you all check out his OnlyFans? I don't know. But don't forget to super subscribe to my OnlyFans. Here's a little clip. All right. I'll talk to you all on Tuesday. I got to go. Bye. I got ash this pen. Yeah. Hey, Ryan. To the left, to the left.